we've chosen um, a model organism that shows a very dramatic example of social environment having a long-lasting impact on the behavior and physiology of the organism. And these are clownfish, which change sex depending on the social environment. We have clownfish paired off in tanks. One male, one female, and maybe a couple of other smaller undifferentiated fish. And the larger one is always female, dominant. And this, the second in the hierarchy is the male. And if you remove the female, then the male will change sex and become a female in a matter of a couple of months. And basically, this is through the brain interpreting this social change. The clownfish has both testicular tissue and ovarian tissue. And so it's a matter of just encouraging one of the other tissues to develop. It's unclear exactly what signals they're using, probably mostly vision and maybe some olfaction and maybe even sound. And then that releases hormones into the blood, affecting basically the, the, the whole the animals get larger, their behavior to change, genitalia is changing. So this is a really remarkable example of how your social experience can have long-lasting effects on behavior and personality and anatomy in this species.